Hey guys, welcome back to another Storytime Sunday. And also, happy Easter. I hope everyone is eating loads of chocolate and getting fatter than I am. Guys, you're in for a treat with this story. I found myself way too funny. Okay, so basically I've been kind of texting this guy and then one night when I was out, I bumped into him when I was in Coppers. And if there's one thing you should know about going to Coppers, it's that you're gonna end up extremely drunk and apparently with no control of your bodily functions. Okay, so I ended up going back to his, and when I woke up in the morning, you know when you wake up and you're like all disoriented, and I was like trying to get my bearings when I realized that like my top was really damp. So I was like, why is my top so wet? And then I was like, oh my God, was I profusely sweating in my sleep? Like that is so embarrassing. Anyway, so I'm an early riser and it was like quarter past eight in the morning, and your man is like fully KO beside me. So I was like, okay, well, time to evacuate the scene. So I get up and I'm like getting my stuff, but I'm still like so confused because like I realized then that like only the back of my top is wet and like the front part of me is all dry. And then a thought came to me. Could I be covered in someone else's urine? So obviously I had to do a little like smell test, but like then I was even more confused because it actually didn't smell like wee, probably because it was about 95% vodka. So I just like lift up the duvet to check he had wet the bed. My fears had been confirmed. He had wet the bed and I was used as a human mop, just laying there and soaking it all up. So now I'm standing there, covered in pee, being like, now I definitely need to evacuate the scene. But then I had this dilemma because I didn't want him to wake up and think that I had wet the bed and then fled the scene. But I also didn't want him to wake up, realize he'd wet the bed and that I had fled the scene and he would be really embarrassed about it. Because I honestly didn't care. Like I'm not the type of girl to be like, ew, gross, never speaking to you again. Because it literally, like who cares? It happened to anyone and I knew that when he woke up, he'd be like really, really embarrassed about it anyway. Also, it's funny as fuck. Like I'm standing there in the middle of this little room, guy KO'd, wet the bed, I'm literally in his urine, being like, yeah, typical Amy to find myself in this situation. So me being me and not a normal fucking person, I was like, I'll leave him a note. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll just leave him a little note. And he'll wake up and read the note. It'll be fine. So I'm looking around and then I spot this little uh, notebook and a pink highlighter. Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, okay, so the note said, Hi, so I'm 99% sure that you wet the bed. The other 1% is just me trying to remain positive. I'm very certain that it wasn't me and I would explain why, but I'm running out of paper and also this highlighter is surprisingly loud. And then I think I said like Amy XOXO, Gossip Girl. As if I thought that was necessary. Like who the fuck else is gonna be writing notes and leaving it on his bed? Yeah, like I'm not joking, the highlighter was so loud. You know you're writing with like marker or highlighter on a piece of paper? And you know that noise that it makes? So it's like That's what it was like. It was literally, definitely, definitely, def. It was very loud. And like I was terrified that he'd wake up in his own pee, look over and see fucking Gollum crouched in the corner writing a diary entry about her night. Met a boy last night, but he weed on me, so. So I left a note beside him on the bed so that he'd like find it as soon as he woke up. And then I robbed one of his jumpers, obviously, and then I left. And then in the taxi on the way home, I was sitting like this. Like I was like leaning forward. And then he was like, you can like, you can sit back if you want to. And I was like, yeah, no I would, but like I'm, I'm covered in wee kind of. So I, I don't, I'm, I'm just gonna sit like this. <laughs> we actually had such a good laugh about the whole situation, me and that taxi driver. I wonder how his kids are. So yeah, I left the note because, I don't know, I wanted him to realize that like, I didn't care at all about the situation. Like I just more found the whole thing really funny. And I didn't want him to wake up and be like, okay, so I've wet the bed and the girl is gone. Instead he woke up and was like, okay, I wet the bed and the girl is gone. And she left me a note telling me I have wet the bed. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? So you know, it wasn't like a traditional golden shower, but I don't care, I am ticking that off the bucket list. Got peed on. Sort of. So, what is the moral of the story? Um, always use the toilet before bedtime. And always leave notes for people to read when they wake up, obviously. Oh, you wanna send them a normal text? No, just write them a note, that's way better. 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the story. Leave me a comment down below if you did. And I will see you next week for another Amy Tries to Find a Boy, but then she turns into a fucking weirdo.